all right people so the month of november is basically over so this week's video i'm going to give you my top ranking superhero movies for the year 2017 so let's get it welcome to the kaiba show <laughs> All right, people, so my number one spot overall best superhero movie of the year, 2017, is going to go to no other than my boy, Wolverine, a.k.a. Logan, because this movie overall is a total package. It had good action, good good plot, story, all that, and it had um good the drama. The drama with this movie was unbelievable. And it's rumored that this movie might even get some Oscar nods with the 2018 um, Oscar celebration. So overall, Wolverine embodied the, the the total package that we all want to see in a superhero movie. Yes, it didn't have all the special effects that the other movies this year had. But overall, number one is going hands down to Logan. Now, the runner up is going to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man for me is going to be number two for this year because it restored the faith back into the Spider-Man franchise. A lot of people didn't like the last series and Marvel did a good job with rebooting this movie. This movie also, once again, had a good story, had good action. The comedy was kind of funny with this one. So I think a lot of people enjoyed Spider-Man Homecoming. So that's going to take the number two spot. The number three spot, I'm going to give it up to Justice League. Because this one I felt like was also good. Wasn't good enough to be number one or two this year. But it was number three in my eyes. It had a decent story. Could have been better. The action was pretty good. And the acting was also good. It's no Avengers. So that's why it's going to take the number three spot. Then the number four spot is going to go to Wonder Woman. I think this movie took everybody by surprise. Wonder Woman was excellent. It definitely restored the faith back in the DCEU universe. A lot of fans and critics was not liking the previous DC movies like that. DC and Warner Brothers caught a lot of slack, but Wonder Woman restored the faith back in the franchise and it gave hope to future DC movies. So Wonder Woman comes in a strong fourth place. Then in number five, I'm gonna give it up to Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was a good movie. The comedy was a little bit too much. It kind of had like an action comedy buddy cop type feel. That was a little disappointing for me because it's called Thor Ragnarok. So I wanted the movie to be a little bit serious. But overall, it was a good movie. Then the last one to take the spot, number six, is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians was also good, but it was missing something. It didn't have the feel. It didn't have the vibe of the first movie. So this one is going to come, unfortunately, in the last slot. Overall, all these movies are good. None of these movies were bad. If you check my videos that I did on all the superhero movies this year, no movie got a rating 7.5 and below. So all these movies are good. It was hard for me to do the ranking, but this is what I came up with. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell button next to it so you get notified every time I upload a video. And please hit the like and leave a comment at the bottom.